Canoe Electric Pickup is in the Army now. Canoe, an EV startup that is aiming to sell a pod-shaped van to the public in 2023, has modified one of its upcoming pickup trucks for the United States Army. The U.S. Army awarded Canoe a contract to test one of its vehicles in July, and now the division will use the light tactical vehicle prototype for analysis and demonstration. The LTV features all-wheel drive and a 600-horsepower powertrain as well as air springs, a raised suspension, and 32-inch all-terrain tires. EV startup Canoe has yet to start full-scale production of its pod-shaped lifestyle vehicle, but in July the fledgling automaker signed two major contracts. The first was an agreement to supply Walmart with 4,500 delivery vans, planning to deliver the fleet after production begins at its plant in Oklahoma for 2023. The second contract was with the United States Army to provide an EV for analysis and demonstration, and now Canoe has announced that it has delivered its light tactical vehicle, LTV, to the U.S. Army. The LTV appears to be a modified version of Canoe's pickup truck variant that shares its front end with the lifestyle vehicle. Canoe says that the LTV uses carbon Kevlar to increase the strength of the vehicle while reducing weight, and Canoe also touts the LTV's adaptability, explaining that it can be converted from a pickup to a flatbed truck, a cargo vehicle, or other configurations. The LTV is all-wheel drive, and Canon says it produces up to 600 horsepower. The LTV also rides on a raised suspension, air springs, and 32-inch all-terrain tires to help it travel over more challenging terrain. Canoe also says the LTV has a modular attachment setup that also for the easy installment of accessories like racks, storage boxes, ramps, and tactical systems and also claims the LTV can use its flatbed to easily carry plywood and other construction materials. Now the Army will begin its testing of the LTV as it considers whether an electric pickup can properly serve the military. Canoe unveils 600 HP light tactical electric vehicle for the US Army. The United States Army continues to show interest in electric vehicles and this time they're enlisting a specially developed canoe light tactical vehicle, LTV. Set to be used for demonstration and analysis purposes, the canoe LTV looks similar to the company's upcoming pickup but it features a single cab configuration as well as a raised suspension and 32-inch all-terrain tires. The truck also comes equipped with a proprietary all-wheel drive system that develops up to 600 horsepower, 447 kilowatts 608 PS, which is more than the standard model that is targeted to have 500 plus HP, 373 kilowatts 507 PS. Those aren't the only changes as the LTV has a new front bumper with apparent during mounts. We can also see a modified rear body and bed. Canoe didn't go into many specifics, but said the model was engineered for extreme environments and includes stealth configurations. The company added the LTV was designed to be durable and protect passengers as well as the battery pack. The model also incorporates carbon Kevlar for strength, while the convertible flatbed platform enables the vehicle to transform from a pickup to a flatbed truck or cargo vehicle. Speaking of transformations, Canoe said their modular attachment system allows for the easy mounting of racks, ramps, storage boxes, tents, or tactical systems. They went on to note this modular upfitting approach helps to reduce costs as models can be modified to meet mission-specific requirements. While it might not be as cool as the Army's GMC Hummer EV, Canoe CEO Tony Aquila said the LTV is another milestone proving the power of our technology and how it can be used, even in tactical situations. U.S. Army starts testing a modified version of Canoe's electric pickup truck. Earlier this year, electric vehicle startup Canoe warned it was running low on cash. Since then, the company's prospects have taken a turn for the better. Over the span of two days in July, Canoe announced separate agreements to provide Walmart with 4,500 EVs and the U.S. Army with a test vehicle. This week, the company shared an update on its Pentagon contract, announcing it had delivered a prototype of its new light tactical vehicle to the Army. The LTV looks like a modified version of Canoe's pickup truck. According to the company, it incorporated carbon Kevlar to make the vehicle more durable without increasing its weight. The LTV can be converted from a pickup to a flatbed truck, allowing it to carry construction material and tactical equipment. 
It even includes a stealth configuration. Canoe says the all-wheel drive LTV can produce up to 600 horsepower. It also features air springs, a raised suspension system and 32-inch tires to make it fit for traversing difficult terrain. The US military is among the biggest polluters on the planet. It has a larger carbon footprint than about 140 nations, including first world countries like Sweden and Denmark. At the start of 2022, the Defense Department announced a net zero emissions plan that, among other tactics, called for the Army to electrify its combat and support vehicles. While there's no guarantee Canoe will be part of that initiative, securing the US Army as a customer would be a significant boon for the startup. US Army to test Canoe Lightweight EV Pickup Truck Canoe's first light tactical vehicle, LTV, has been shipped off to the US Army as part of a contract for vehicle analysis and demonstration. The EV maker, which this summer inked a deal to supply Walmart with 4,500 delivery vans, hopes its purpose-built vehicle can wow the Army and cement a future relationship with the military. The so-called jack-of-all-trades opens in a new window, LTV, is designed for durability in extreme environments, while also focusing on passenger and battery safety. Capable of transforming from pickup truck to cargo vehicle, it boasts a convertible flatbed platform and a proprietary modular attachment system that enables mission-specific configurations for less money. The LTV is another milestone proving the power of our technology and how it can be used, even in tactical situations, Canoe CEO Tony Aquila said in a statement. This is a winning algorithm for our customers and company. The 600 horsepower, all-wheel drive LTV uses strong but lightweight carbon Kevlar, while incorporating air springs, a raised suspension, and 32-inch all-terrain tires to boost ground clearance for the type of extreme and rugged terrain on which the Army often finds itself. There is no word on a timeline for testing. Earlier this month, Canoe announced plans, opens in a new window, to acquire a vehicle manufacturing plant in Oklahoma City, where more than 500 employees will work to produce 20,000 LDV lifestyle delivery vehicle and LV lifestyle vehicle units by the end of 2023. The firm also recently unveiled, opens in a new window, its new battery module manufacturing facility in nearby Pryor, Oklahoma. NASA in April selected Canoe, opens in a new window, to provide multiple customized all-electric transportation vehicles for crewed Artemis lunar exploration launches. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.